Hello everyone, this is Riley with RDW Glass, and today, in this video, we're going to be going over wigwags. Now, a wigwag is when you take line tubing, or lines that you make yourself, or even lined rod, and you go back and forth and back and forth. And that is what we call a wigwag, because it goes wig, wag, wig, wag. Yep. My last name's Wiggins, so I call mine the Wiggins Wigwags. This is a handpipe we have available on our website, but we are going to be turning the camera around and getting right into it. So as you've seen, there is a line of black and a line of, or well, lines of different colors that kind of create a rainbow look. So we have some of this lined tubing, this is what it starts off like, in the kiln. So what we're gonna do? Pop that back in there. We want that to stay hot. We're gonna take that, open up one end. Then we're going to take a blow tube. We're gonna connect that to that end. We're gonna cut off a section off that line tubing that we want to use to wigwag, and then we're gonna get right into wigwagging that. The reason that we're going to show pulling it off the tube first is because if you're going to be getting into wigwags, a lot of times what you'll do is you'll buy lined tubing off of, you know, one of the websites like Mountain Glass, and then you'll get that lined tubing and you'll start to try to work with it, wigwagging it, maybe just spinning it all the way around. When you spin it, it looks really cool too, but that's a twist. We'll go, we'll go over that in another video. This is the wigwags. So yeah, let's, let's get into that. And the reason we're showing that is because that's how you'll probably get it. So we want to show you what you'll do. From... All right, different angle this time. It's because we want to make sure we get right in the visual of where the wig lag is happening. Remember propane and oxygen. Uh oh, that's All right, I'm gonna pull that line tubing out of the kiln, and you'll see it all happen right in front of you. I just noticed that the glow tubes that I wanna use, they're pretty much all covered, so take one of these and open it up. You guys remember how to do this. You take it, you put it in to the flame, pull off with our punty. This one opened itself. We'll take our reamer. We'll go hmm. to lower it a little bit. Nah, that's better right there. Alright, cool. Now we have this tube open ever so slightly. Cool. Yep. And then we are going to get this a little hot and then move it right over here. You see how there's a little dust right there? You just wipe that off on your mat. Usually you want to keep a heat mat near you. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this hot, and we're going to open it up just like we did the other piece. Oh. And you'll need to like blow into it to pop it. Try not to reach under your flame. 
unless you know exactly where your flame is. Now we're going to take that uh, piece of tubing that we just opened up. And we are going to connect those. What we're going to do is we're going to puff a little bit of air, close off one end with our finger. The reason we puff a little air is because we want to make sure we have a section of it ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my glue hose right here while I'm spinning back and forth. Now our blow hose is on. Get that straightened out. That works. Now you guys can see what I'm seeing just a little bit better. There we go. All right. I'm gonna cut this flame to be a little more precise. I'm getting a section hot, nice and easy, slowly letting gravity pull itself down. And then we are going to flame cut that right about here. Done. Now we're going to put this big section, large section, right back in the kiln. We have our smaller, thin section. And now what we need to do, we're gonna turn down our flame, get very, oops, not turn off. <laughs> we're gonna get precise. And what we're gonna do is attach a punchy to one side. go we're gonna slowly we're gonna, I like to start on this side you could start on either side and we're gonna give it a twist now we have our first twist and immediately what we do is go slightly past it and allow the piece to twist in the opposite direction. And you just did your first wig and your first wag. Go just a little bit past that and go that opposite direction of what you just did. Now you've wigged again. You've wigged, you've wagged, now you've wigged. Now what we're gonna do, 
go the opposite direction of what you just did, creating the wag. And then what you're gonna do is go up just a little bit and create a wig. As it cools down, you'll see that the pattern's going back and forth. It's really hard to see when the piece is right in the torch because it's so hot. And at the end, I just twist it. Now we have this. Now what we're gonna do, we turn up the heat a little bit. Now that we have our heat a little higher, we're gonna go from pretty much where we were. And remember, we have our blow hose connected to this side. And we're going to use gravity to let these wigwags kind of melt into themselves. And remember, rotating your hands at the same time is very important. Because if you go off of rotation, then the wigwag will be off of the straight wigwag. It'll just be a slanted wigwag. And I got a little section hot. And what I'm doing is letting gravity fall on itself, and I'm also ever so slightly pushing. But when you push, you kind of have to blow into the piece as well, because if you push while it's too hot, then the wigwags will mush. You don't want to mush, you want the proper push. Work your heat back and forth, letting the wig rag melt on themselves. A tip with your wig wagging to make sure that it stays straight is focus on one line and where it is there and make sure that the bottom of that line goes all the way across. The reason why you're melting this back in, not only to make your wig wags tighter, but it's also to thicken everything up. Because you do not want thin glass. When you're selling thin glass, it's easier to break. You want to make sure everything's thick, and that also makes the quality go up. At certain point you can cut the punty off if you want. Just use gravity instead of pushing. The punty is really only there to keep everything uh, stabilized, keep everything straight while you melt in everything. And usually once I have this piece melted in um, and you know puffed up a little bit, I usually take the punty off because at that point I can use gravity to work everything else. That punchy definitely helps everything stay straight though. So, when you're first starting off, definitely use the punchy to your advantage for as long as you can. And you know this, this is my classic 
marble mold and I always use it to uh, push in If your wigwag gets off balance, you can definitely reattach the punchy and straighten everything up. Might have to do that here. Let's we'll see. You can see that this end maybe goes down a little bit. So we'll attach the punchy. Get that section hot. Maybe just to straighten this out a little bit. Now, you can either pop a hole on this end and have your piece look wigwagged like that, or what we're going to do is we're going to show you changing a direction real quick. It's always nice to see that. And since this is a channel mostly aimed towards teaching people how to glass blow, we're going to try to get a good amount of information into each video, like tips such as focusing on one of these lines and trying to make sure that they stay steady across, making sure that blue is here, here, and here. So what we're doing is we're going to try to make this into more of a bubble because it will make it easier for our next step, which is going to be attaching a blow hose or a blow tube to another side of this red rag. Here we have a more than we got. Yeah, I like it. All right. Then you find where you want the wigwag to open up. And I would want it to open up maybe here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a hole right here because I want this side to be open up and go on to the piece. And you'll see exactly what I mean. Jeez, it's like this.
blow holes are here. Okay, we need this to be open. Let's hit this with some heat. Now we're gonna do is set that right here for a second. Make sure this can be open and used. Okay, so now that that's ready, put this back in the heat. Alright, what we do is we take a punty and we do a cold seal right there. Okay, and we're gonna do our heat right here, right by the clear of our blow tube and we're going to roll that off. Now what we'll do is we'll take our punty, another punty, and just kind of take some of this excess off. And it's rainbow so it feels sad to take away that product. But it's okay. It'll be worth it in the long run. And then we have our tube we just opened up and we're going to attach that right to that hole we put. And then we're going to take it, we'll tap it at the end of something, comes off. Now, I'm going to attach my blow tube to this one. And now what we want to do is make this an even ball all the way around. Using gravity. Puffing ever so slightly. Gotta really use gravity to your advantage because one side is gonna be ever so slightly thicker. Getting this right into the ball form that we want. step that I'd be taking. Now we have something that I would be attaching as a slider, it could be used as truly anything that you want to. 
That is our rig rag section. Now then, what, what are we gonna do? So today, we took a section that looked like this, and then we turned it into to the channel and liking all these videos. Today in this video we did a wigwag. So um, it was very fun. I enjoyed doing that. Just make sure that you're going one way, waiting for just a second, moving the heat over, and then going the complete opposite way. And when you're doing it, try to find a line to look at. I'm going to grab a line. So when you have like a rainbow tubing, it's very easy to do. So imagine you're just looking at this one black line at the end, and when you go down, now that end is down here, and then you go back up, now that end should be here, and then make sure that black end goes the same way across, all the way, same with the bottom. Right. And as you get into it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, you'll start focusing on one of the lines and you'll be like, okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you go to rdw-glass.com because that is where you can buy all of the art that we make. So rdw-glass.com. We're also rdw underscore glass on Instagram. We've got an eBay account, rdw glass. And yeah. all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay safe. Peace. Cheers.